Hello fellow travelers. So I've decided, even though it's been really controversial, that I am going to at least post the inside of the Warren Jeffs, the former prophet of the FLDS church, his mansion that was built for him and his 70 plus wives. Uh, the reason I'm going to show you is because you have to understand that most of the time people are just looking from the outside and they think, wow, those people, nobody's getting in there when the sad fact is and how scary it is and the way that it was set up, you could easily make it so nobody could get out. And I feel it's really important to share these aspects, these darker sides of life, even though it is dark and it is sad and it is wrong what he did is so wrong but until we start understanding each other until we can see what is really going on we're never going to be able to shed that darkness in the world so again i am going to share it now but i'm only going to share the inside and the outside and what i will do for the ones that actually like to travel and like to see it and want more information in a few days, I will cut together all of the information I got and I will post it on my YouTube channel and I will uh, let you know once it's up so that way you can look at it. So without further ado, I, I do want to show you the inside of, of this mansion and really take a look at how they would keep these women in line, in check, in uh, some kind of virtual servitude to a monster known as Warren Jess. Now check this out, like this is solid. If you actually look at the fencing, it is so solid and look, this gate would be able to close. So you have one gate for the living and then here, here's the parking area, obviously. Or like the only ones here. That could close off, I mean it's kind of like a fortress holy cow we're gonna go unpack and then go explore or is soft and squishy everybody it's like really cool okay here we go we are in Warren Jeff's mansion obviously he never stayed here but it was like to celebrate when he got out of jail so let's see. That's a nice big closet. At least they have. That's good. Okay. I've got the thing. Let's go to the car. Go ahead. Shut the door. Actually, it kind of has a churchy feeling. Like, you know, the quietness. So we could get out over this way to get our stuff and get a jacket. They serve coffee. Dining area. I want to show you something. Did they used to have a bar here? Like, what is this? Did they used to have a bar? That's what it looks like. Or maybe is it just for show? No fire going because everything's at half capacity. Here, let's see if I can get like a kind of a broader picture of it. And this was one of your guys' ideas to come here. One of you. And actually, when I see see your picture, I know it's you, but then I forget the name. And then, so then I feel bad. So, okay. It's pretty big, actually. I wonder 
how many, I'm gonna look up how many wives he has had. I'm gonna walk about of the compound real quick. Oh, I don't think we can do it. Oh yeah, we can. We can get through. Oh, zoom out. I don't know. I don't. I think it would feel weird to have a house where you had to have such a fence. Oh gosh, I got nervous over nothing. Actually lovely 